Right, hello everyone. Well, I don't often do this, but I saw from helisimmer.com this Kiowa, or Kiowa, um, free for x plane by a chap called Carl L. And I've literally jumped straight in it today. I had a few hours spare. I had just read the bit on the manual that said assign throttle to wing sweep. And being English, we never read manuals anyway. Um, I thought I'd literally jump straight in and show the first flight. Sorry about the wobbles on the uh, VR there. Uh, it does look pretty good for a freebie, I have to say. Uh, from inside VR, it looks great. On the flat screen monitor, it's got a few sharp edges and things like that, I just noticed. But from the outside, it looks absolutely great. So. I've done everything uh, with the wing sweep to the throttle. Let's see what she does first flight. So a little bit left, I would imagine. Oh, no, pretty even takeoff. The field is very agile straight away. So let's get it out. To, oh, it is. Yeah. Now I've got no assistance as far as I'm aware turned on because I just couldn't wait to get in it and have a go and uh, let's have a look at town well, there's a lot of authority there on the town a lot of authority in both directions it comes to a stop really nicely when you uh, balance your feet out so uh, really nicely. Drop the collective down a bit. Very quiet engine noise might be um, or maybe it's the effect of headphones, I'm not sure. But oh I like yes I do like the way this flies straight away. Like the MD five hundred and the EC135 it straight away to me being a non-helicopter pilot and a simulator pilot only very very natural now I've done no tinkering with curves everything was set up pretty much basically from my EC135 and just made a small variation on that uh, I think my frames per second, which he recommended, was set to about three or four anyway, and it wasn't jumping around on the floor at all. But yes, I like the way it's just an instant response on the collective. Now I'm just going to walk. It was a bit unsharp. I'm using the Rift S and I wear glasses, so sometimes it sort of sinks down. And because I've got this rubber support that I use for my neck, um, sometimes it just gets out of focus as time goes on. Or the sweet spot disappears. Now, bearing in mind this is one of these helicopters that's supposed to be ultra stable uh, hover behind the tree do some surveillance work and uh, scout out places I would feel at home with this straight away well I do feel at home with it straight away Now there might well be something like headphones that I've got on by mistake and uh, can be set differently, I'm not sure. But the sound is the only uh, little bit too quiet inside. Uh, I like it when you overdo the collective, there's a good thump. We're 
slightly shorter than my usual little test patch. It's a good area to uh, keep going back to. Very, very responsive. But not so touchy that uh, it doesn't feel right. Although I'm doing this in VR just because I had it all set up, I copy the replay and show some outside shots as well. talk about any of the displays or the instrumentation because I'm going to have to read up on that out. It's got a good colour display you can see down there and it kills speed off nicely. Again, town wise, a little bit of correction back. Collective on. I wondered if it would, so I had to put on some collective there. Yes, very, very nice. Only a quick go, me being impatient. heavy there uh, but felt at home with that straight away uh, I'll come back to it soon bit of a quick one that hope you enjoyed it download it um, just literally a couple of minutes flying around really really nice really responsive the guys done a great job I think his name's Carl L so look it up on the heli simmer site and uh, happy flying <laughs>